Top of the morning to you laddies, my name is Jack Jacksepticeye and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. I'm so excited, episode 3 has finally come out again and this story has me absolutely hooked. I cannot wait to see what is going on. Episode 3 is called A Crooked Mile and I'm really looking forward to playing it. Now, a few things first. There is a lot more subscribers on the channel since the last time since episode 2 came out for this, so welcome any new people who are new to the channel who are watching this Any of you who've watched the series so far, welcome back! We are about to get into the emotional journey again And I guess there's nothing else to say but to play Uh, start episode 3, The Crooked Mile The promotional stuff for this showed Big B in full-on wolf form Like the thing on Steam was him as his wolf form, so uh, maybe Maybe we're going to see the big bad wolf. I'll kill him. I'll kill him. I'll rip him apart. Crane? Ugh, God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I need to find just Snow. just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Well, I need to tell Snow. explain this to me? I have to tell Snow what's going on right now. Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. What? Shit's going down. Leave me alone. Wait. What? Snow's... <sighs> Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you what should tell her. What do you mean? But what are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. She has to know she'd want me to tell her. I know Snow. Better than you do, beauty. You stupid face. She's getting intense, yo. Oh, the visual style of this game. It just shits all over The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead looks good, but this is a fucking cut above that. The colors they use are un unbelievable. Do I get control? Snow is talking at a funeral. Lily had many friends, but this is nice. Like, I know they're just cinder blocks and everything, but it's a nice funeral. Like, look what I mean the colors, the blue, the yellow, so nice. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain I, I'm not going to inter interrupt. Ever subside. I know I'm not that heartless. Well you that it, it will never subside. But I also know that that the memory of Lily will sustain Offering well. is that a troll helmet? And it will in time equal in strength to our mourning her loss. And it is in that spirit that I'd like to talk about, about you. what you've I'll all been so fights. grateful to share with me. I'll miss you. Your memories of her. Holly. How she could be stubborn and patient. Rash and thought. Now you will never die. She carried from a torch for the old ways. Lead a tedious for life. For Goodbye, sweetheart. Pageantry. Thanks for everything. And most of all, Vivian. It seems how oh man, that's Lily sad. Loved, dearly loved her friends and family. You were a big, bright, big shining family. star in, in good this times shithole of a town. I never met and Lily. I miss you already. What Gren. I've been told. Gren, I know you're not I know like the coolest heart, cat alive, but you don't like see shithole. On a remembrance and card for a we'll dead person. Moment of silence. Thank you. Billy Goat. Billy! <laughs> okay, Snow's finished talking. 
I was nice to wait, wasn't I? Is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. What did I do? Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. Yeah. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell Crane's me a Big prick. B gives a shit about this. Holly, it's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Holly. I, I didn't know he put her down the witching well. Big B cares, Holly. He's trying to help. Yeah. I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Mm, I'm gonna say this. I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. I know, I I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedures. I need to talk if to so I don't want to blurt out that it's Crane, because I still don't think it's actually right him. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she looked like when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Actually, it's just kind of about her. Was. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. He didn't even Look, dress differently. Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of, of course. course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. <laughs> Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. See, Snow dressed differently for the funeral, but nobody else did. Not even her sister. Her sister still looks like a tramp. <laughs> okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? It was Crane. Pigby? Crane uh. murdered Lily. What? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like... You, while well, he was, you know. The bed was covered in blood. I know it was him. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought... I thought you should be the first to know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Big the picture. don't confuse things. Ugh, that's nasty. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, take your I time. understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. I'm trying to be the big G-wolf. The big good wolf. Not the big B. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? A uh, little of this, little of that, little picture of Crane trying to finger no. snow. Yeah. Lily was killed there. It was an awful mess. Oh. I'm sorry. Nerissa! 
Yeah, um, coming. You sound just a bit too happy for someone who's at a funeral. Coming! To burn the Constable. person. Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go. <laughs> Should I say fuck off? In your office and yeah, let's do it. For a few short days. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. <laughs> so what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. What's it gonna be? Don't hurt anyone! Don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really? That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. Oops. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holy uh, don't move. I'll handle this. Let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Shouldn't have said that. Shouldn't have said that. I got it done. Die, bitch! Can I fucking kill this guy yet? Yeah, right in the teeth. Ow! Ow! Oh, don't tell me she's dead. Ah, oh, shit! Oh fuck! That's my fault! Ah crap! I told her that I wouldn't do anything bad! I told her that I wouldn't mess up the funeral! And I got her killed! <laughs> oh shit! Man, what a tense start! I really love this game! So much! It's awesome! Art direction! David Bogan! You deserve it! A high five! Work is incredible. Kind of want to skip this, but in case it leaves anything important, it's not very long anyway. <sighs> Please don't tell me she's dead. I feel so bad. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <laughs> <sighs> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's mm. everyone else? 
They all make it. They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Thank God! She's not dead. The Titans, baby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. <laughs> I'll try to. All right then. Very good. Thank you, doctor. Business office. I know. I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Thank you, doctor. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this Accurate. because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. Just wait I, I don't know. There's Any no other leads. other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but... Do you really think he killed those women? Because I actually don't, I'm so I'm not sure. As you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for <laughs> Okay, then. By the way, that could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I feel bad for Holly, because I really do. I thought she was dead. I feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Except a gunshot to the chest. Time doesn't really heal that. Um, ask you a question? Yes, I am pregnant. It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong because it gives you an excuse to just you know stop pretending no fuck no i don't, I don't enjoy, it. enjoy it are you kidding me it's horrible what happened tonight i wish it didn't happen i shouldn't have said anything forget that i did uh guys we have it's a piece problem missing. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Uh, of course it is. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's a... Uh... Rain must have taken it, that sly dog! Rain must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting Probably. is an option. No. We can't depend on the ooh, mirror. Ooh, 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 ooh. What exactly Pick. is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have okay. left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. <laughs> we can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that. Never mind that. Come help me look. Oh, poor Buffkin. I don't talk to him again. I like Buffkin. 
Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow glamours from. Hmm. Uh, you didn't see anything, see anything else? else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Uh, it's not your fault. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. And I'm gonna ask him this, because that's a bit mean. I don't want to be mean I'll to Buffkin. see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Yeah. Good little Buffkin. I like Buffkin. Also, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that Snow is hot. Just putting it out there. She's a little blob of pixelated cartoonishness. She's kind of hot. Uh, left to right. There's a key. What is it? It's the key to his room at the open arms. You still haven't told me what was in there. I want to Ah, know. blood and flowers. A lot of blood and flowers. I keep thinking back. I keep replaying moments in my head. Interactions with him when he'd catch me in the elevator or bump into me outside. <sighs> There's only so much you can repress, you know? Y yeah. You couldn't have known, no, seriously. You couldn't have known. No, I could have. Come on, let's keep looking. She said he was a neat freak, but he wasn't all that smart. He's fuck. He's not a neat freak at all. Look at this shit. Are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could do with some improvement. I'm seeing some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think this should be made a priority. Best, Wayland Smith. Okay. And the next one. Dear Ichabod Crane, I'm writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. That's a lie. Did his nose get bigger when he said it? I don't know what that means, but I'm, I assume it's something gross and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us with a fan in the meantime. Sincerely, Boy Blue. Who's Boy Blue? Little Boy Blue. Something something shoe. Uh, maybe? Mr. Crane, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room as it is and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you'd send someone to fix the big crack in the glass and the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Did Mr. Green Toad. Did do any work? Only when Cole was around. Uh, drawer last thing? Yep. The office something. Yeah, you see how strong I was, Snow? That was awesome. The office business affairs. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> he set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to- I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. 
Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried to see uh, the concern. Mirror no, can't be fixed. Can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.? Buffkin! A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn uh, away from What do you know about Crane? What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. Who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. Snow can endlessly handle this, so let's drop it. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Ah, oh, fuck off, Bluebeard. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us a few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Mm, Two a.m. No problem. Piece of cake. Since Lily used yeah. the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? That is a good question. It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The trip trap is the better option to track the witch down. That Ooh, yeah, Lily stuff a might help. If Holly has Lily's things, that'd probably be the safer bet. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock. <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no stay interest. Stay out a of it! Seat. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. They can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out, never went anywhere, and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. <laughs> Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Uh, I'm gonna go with you, Snow, because you're awesome and Bluebeard's a dick. So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna go for Holly's bar. You guys are with me, right? No? Okay, well, I'm going there anyway. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need the witch's identity Holly's must be bar. with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. 
Oh, Jesus. I hope you know what you're doing.